Hey y'all, it's me, Lynn Daniel, coming to you today from The Body Zone. This is my YouTube channel here on YouTube, where I talk to you about my life as a teacher. And I wanna thank everybody who has liked my one cool diva teacher page over on Facebook. Thank you so much for the interaction. Many of you have downloaded the free little poster that I made for your learners, your adolescent learner for reading. The poster looks like this. I'm gonna show it to you. It looks like this. And it has four reading strategies on here, top reading tips for adolescents. And you can cut it, trim it down, and then laminate it and put it on, um, your child can put it on their agenda for school. And um, so thank you all. And this is free, by the way. It's in my TPT store, and it is a free download. So thank you, those of you who did get the download. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support, guys. Um, we have a great teacher community here on YouTube. Some of our um, some of, some of our teacher YouTubers have been participating in professional development all over the world, not just the United States. We've had we have people in Finland right now doing professional development in Australia doing professional development. We have them right here in the United States in Texas in Nevada, all over the place. So if you are one of the teachers doing um, any type of teacher professional development, you rock because summer is our time to rejuvenate, revigorate, rest, refresh, and see teachers just don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> or we turn it off, but we understand our profession and our calling. So we, we about the business, you know what I'm saying? We about the business. Okay, so today I just wanted to check in and talk a little bit about back to school wardrobe for teachers. And um, this year, I'm just gonna be honest. So I had a little budget. Now here's the thing about this year's budget for me. I had more of a, um, I didn't give myself um, a dollar amount, like you can spend exactly this amount. I gave myself a window of how much I could spend. Like this is the low, the medium, the average or a high. And I went shopping online, you all. I'm just gonna tell you. So um, Bite by Bite, Bite had recommended Wish dot com or wish app um a while back she would show clothing that she purchased on wish and i remember that and so i had seen something from wish on one of the social media i don't know and so i went and gave them a look and i must tell you i was impressed i was impressed by what she would bite by bite wore her little teacher outfit that she purchased on Wish, what she wore was so cute, it stuck in my memory to make me recall to, hey, when I saw them, I went to check them out. And I bought quite a bit from there. Thanks to Karina Freeman, this bite by bite. I purchased two jackets. I purchased a lot of t-shirts. I purchased some dresses. I purchased um, I think I purchased a jumper from them. So that's the Wish app, but I did it online. I went to wish.com or something or clicked on the link where I saw it online. And then the second, I went to this uh, website called TB, TB Dress. I have it up on my desktop right now and I purchased two beautiful dresses from there. Now, this one is more risky, but I'm thinking... They're probably from very similar sources in China because I also went on AliExpress and I saw almost everything from Amazon, from Wish, 
from TV Dress right there on AliExpress. Now here's the catcher. On TV Dress, the shipping is high. On Wish, the shipping is high. On AliExpress, it depends. Sometimes they, they give you free shipping or something like that. But these other sites, and on Amazon, many of them give you free shipping if you have Prime. So, and all the dresses look like dresses from AliExpress. So all of them from China, y'all, just go straight to AliExpress. They're the, that's the source. And they were cheaper, less expensive on AliExpress. So that's how I am doing my back to school wardrobe shopping this year. Sorry, I can't support any, you know, I just, I don't have the time to go looking. And the prices were just too good to pass up. Getting a dress for $15. And when you read the stats, you read all the details on it. You read the measurements and you double check the centimeters to inches. You read the reviews. You look at the description of the material. When I did all of those things, I just said, I'm just going to get, I'm, I'm just doing it. So I will, when everything comes in, I will show you all what I bought. I bought a lot. I ain't lying. I bought enough dresses, I think, to last me for the year. Really. You know, a fresh look. I'm starting a new job. I'm teaching high school. I want to be crisp, but... Um, you know, nice and but but crisp and with it and you know and able to move around and stuff like that, but still very professional and pretty and all of that too. And these dresses are very they're very um they're very feminine, very floy. A lot of them have that African big skirt, floy big skirt, a nice um bodice or top part that fits your body some of them have nice ornate like big poofy sleeves and different things of that nature not too much to interrupt you teaching but just enough detail to where it's like wow I can't pass that dress up or oh, wow I would look good in that so so yeah all right so that's what I'm talking about today so you got to tell me in the comment where you are doing your back to school shopping for yourself. This is a, an aspect of teacher self-care. Looking good, dressing professionally, presenting yourself in a very positive light to students who don't know you, parents who don't know you. That's a part of teacher self-care because you're, you're setting an image for yourself. And I'm starting off on a good foot on a good note all right y'all and i shampoo my hair and deep conditioned it under the steamer today so it's still wet and it's drying so that's why i'm not wearing my little bun all right thank you all be sure to check out my one cool diva teacher tbt store whatever's on there right now is going to be free it's going to be literacy based so you can download stuff for free and use it with your classroom or use it with your own children Use it with your nieces and nephews and your cousins and all of them, all right? <laughs> all right, y'all be blessed. Take care. Bye.